Thermaltake had a lot to show off at Computex 2007, including the Sword M, which Thermaltake is calling the Rolls Royce of cases. Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Lin and I am the Global Strategic Manager of Thermaltake. And here we are at uh, Computex Taipei 2007 and we are at the uh, Thermaltake location. And uh, I am going to introduce to you some uh, very, very interesting and very innovative products today. Okay, let me go through this with you. Okay, the first thing is, you can take a look at it. The first uh, very, very uh, noticeable thing is the doors. The case features a top opening hydraulic door that not only looks cool, but also serves to efficiently exhaust excess heat, while the side door makes it much easier to work on the PC. The rear of the case can also be kept open for better thermal management. The front of the Sword M features a retractable 7-inch LCD touch panel monitor, which can be used as a second monitor. The Armor Plus case features a built-in water cooling system in three 5-inch drive bays and can be accessed from the top of the chassis. Armor Plus also features a unique 10-slot design, compared with 8 slots used in standard cases for quad SLI or crossfire configurations. The Landbox case is a micro ATX case with an ergonomic carrying handle designed to be easily transported. A unique feature of the Landbox compared with other micro ATX cases is that it takes standard size power supplies, CD-ROM drives and coolers, and can even take two SLI or Crossfire VGAs. The Max Orb is the top of the line cooler from Thermaltake, featuring six heat pipes connecting to six separate heat dissipation areas. The V1 cooler features an all-aluminum Chinese fan type design with four heat pipes. Dual Orb is the newest VGA cooler from Thermaltake, featuring two independent heat pipes connected to two sets of fans. It fits on 8800 Ultra cards and according to Thermaltake, dissipates twice the heat of the reference design cooler. The Spirit RS and V1 RAM coolers are designed to cool DDR3 modules and feature a bendable heat pipe design to accommodate various case configurations. The Big Water 760i simplifies installation of water cooling solutions by combining the radiator, pump, tank and cooling fan into one unit that fits into a 5 and 1 quarter inch drive bay. They also showed off their Tough Power series of power supplies, including a 2,000 watt model. The Tough Power series features four 12 volt independent rails with up to 87% efficiency, with a voltage regulation of plus or minus 3%, compared with an industry standard 5%. And the iSoft Notebook Cooler is a flexible portable notebook cooler, which uses no electricity, dissipating heat by convection just in case you're feeling guilty about using a 2000 watt power supply. At MSI's booth, we caught up with Vincent Lin. This year MSI has a very big booth as well. So this year we have a two major focus of the product. The first one is motherboard for P35 based on the new chipset introduced by Intel. That motherboard has got a very good award from Best of Computex. So if you have time, go to our website to take a look. The second thing is that we have a first in the world uh, the notebook that could be overclocked. If you have time, go to www.msi.com.tw. Take a look. Thanks. MSI was showing a P35 Core 2 Extreme platform running at negative 50 degrees Celsius. That's negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The system was running stable 3D programs at over 4.2 gigahertz. They also showed us a new P35 Quad Core DDR3 system running 3D Mark at extremely high frame rates. The GX100 Notebook, targeting gamers, features the Intel Santa Rosa Notebook platform with NVIDIA GeForce 8600M GT graphics. It also features a turbo button that increases performance by up to 20% when pushed. The PR200 is MSI's first Windows Vista HDMI ready notebook, complete with fingerprint detector and TV receiver, as well as built-in webcam. Over at Biostar, we checked out some of their latest T-Series motherboards for enthusiasts. The TX38 is based on the Intel X38 chipset and is aimed squarely at gamers. It features DDR3 support as well as dual graphics support and all solid Japanese capacitors. 
The TP35D3 A7 Deluxe, based on the Intel P35 chipset, features a heat pipe and 8-phase power for enhanced CPU stability. The audio is also supported by one solid capacitor per channel for cleaner audio. For graphics cards, Biostar had an 8600 GT using 512 megabytes of DDR3 memory for better frame rates at high resolutions. They also showed off their T8602 home theater integrated motherboard. And over at Elsa's booth, they had a full lineup of graphics cards on display, including new NVIDIA-based DX10 Gladiac Series VGAs, featuring fans manufactured by APAC of Korea. The Gladiac 860 GTS, based on NVIDIA's 8600 GT GPU, clocked at 700 MHz, and features Samsung DDR2 memory, clocked at over 2000 MHz. Their Gladiac 860 GT PH2 featured Samsung DDR3 memory and the GPU is overclocked to between 600 and 800 megahertz. They also claim that the APAC fan runs at less than 15 decibels. Elsa's version of NVIDIA's 8500 GT, the Gladiac 850 GT, features DDR3 memory as well and a GPU clocked between 600 and 800 megahertz. Elsa's 850 GT also features a more durable six-layer PCB versus the standard five-layer for 8500 GTs. From Computex 2007, I'm Alex Mevin.